Hello and welcome back. For those of you just joining, this blog is about integrating Vienna Symphony Library instruments with Notion. This is about a workflow that I have become accustomed to and I found useful. And there are probably as many different ways of working with VSL instruments and Notion as there are people out there doing it. So hopefully you'll find this helpful and interesting. But again, it is my personal workflow, and yours may differ. So to date, we've looked at setting up a score. We have a score here, which is uh, My Robin is to the Greenwood Gone, composed by Percy Aldridge Granger. There are eight instruments in this score, as we've talked about previously. We also have a VE instance. that we've established. We set that up in the last blog. And it's an empty instance right now. It only has a single master bus and is waiting for us to insert instruments and to assign those instruments to the actual notation staffs in the score. Let's take a look at the Vienna Ensemble interface itself. The interface consists of basically three sections, a settings bar, the channels area, and the view area. Currently the view area is showing the mixer, but you can switch between mixer view, instrument view after we assign instruments, and Vienna Mir Pro. We'll talk about that later. The channel area is where you add instruments using these two icons, Vienna Pro instrument or a standard Vienna instrument, an audio input, a bus, or you can also delete channels or fold the channel strips in and out. The settings strip has the following buttons. The first is start and stop the audio engine. This is very useful. It's basically a bypass button. But it bypasses not only audio output, it also bypasses uh, computer processing required for any specific Vienna Ensemble. So if you're working with a number of Vienna Ensembles at the same time, and you're only focusing on a single one, it's a good idea to turn off the balance of the Vienna ensembles that you don't need, and that will save your computer resources. This is a start-stop button. It will actually start and stop the transport in Notion itself, which is very useful. These buttons are used to save and to load Vienna ensemble frames. Basically what you can do is set up a whole series of preset instruments all your channel settings, all of your plugins, all that can be saved using the save tool and then loaded using the open project tool. That's really helpful if you want to set up, for instance, uh, string ensembles that you're going to use over and over again in many different projects. You can save them and then load them. So now we'll load our instruments. We have eight instruments. So I'm going to load eight VI Pro instances. Eight, there we go. Once we have them loaded, I'll change the names to correspond to the instruments in the score. So there we go. I've uh, renamed all of the Vienna Instrument channels to the appropriate names to correspond with the score. And now what we have to do is assign a Vienna Instrument preset to each instrument channel. So the first instrument channel is a flute, and I'm going to use 
the VI Pro Notion SE presets because I have Vienna Instruments Pro. You might only have Vienna Instruments, which is fine, uh, but you'll have to use the Vienna Instruments presets, not the VI Pro presets. So the first instrument is flute. Uh, I scroll down to find flute, and I can either drag and drop the preset onto the instrument to load it, or I can simply double click it. It has the same effect. So now you'll hear a flute. It's lovely. And you can do the same for all the other instruments. English horn. Fiddle. Which is going to be a solo violin in our case. First middle fiddle or solo viola. Same for the second middle fiddle. First bass fiddle is a solo cello. Second bass fiddle is also a solo cello. And a double bass is a solo double bass. That's low. The other thing we'll need to do is change the MIDI input channel for each instrument channel. Uh, right now they're set to receive information on all MIDI channels. So basically uh, every instrument would play every staff in the uh, Notion score. That would be chaos. So uh, these are the buttons that control MIDI output and MIDI input. And so in this case what we're going to do is simply change these so that flute receives MIDI information on channel 1, English horn receives channel 2, etc. down through the line. And so basically it's just a uh, sequential assignment of each MIDI channel to each instrument channel. So there, that's complete. Uh, 1 through 8. Uh, you'll notice that this, uh, these tabs have changed. We now have uh, the mixer tab, which we saw before, in addition to the instrument tab for each channel and also still the Vienna Mir Pro tab, which we'll get to later. So now what we have to do is tell Notion to play the notes that it encounters for any individual staff to a specific VI channel in the Vienna Ensemble. And you do that through Notion using the command change instruments. Actually, it's called use instrument under the tools menu. And that brings up the Change Instrument dialog box. Click on Show All Instruments. Select the VSL Ensemble. Select your channel, channel 1 for flute, and then assign your instrument. So you continue that process until all of the staffs have been assigned to their respective VSL Ensemble instruments and they're now set to play back on the appropriate channels. Channel 1 for flute, 2 for English horn, etc., etc., down to 8 for double bass. So now if you hit play, the score should play back using those VSL instruments. It does, and so we are successful for today's blog. More next time. Thanks for listening.